welcome back. As loyal viewers know, the kind folks at Vengeance Motorcycles are planning to build me something really special. I recently had a chance to look over the various models and ponder which one is as right for me. I thought that perhaps the guys at Vengeance who built each one by hand can help me choose. Let's check it out. All right, this is, this is our murder breaker. This is our rigid model. It has the gothic wheels, the most popular style of wheel. It's my favorite. This is our rigid model. It has a five degree tree, a 12 over front end. It's a really nice handling bike, but it is a rigid and it might not be the bike for you. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll keep looking. Okay. This is our, our Vendetta. This bike has a demon tooth wheel. Mm -hmm. It has a little shorter front end. This bike is more like a, like a pro street type bike. It's got a 21 inch front tire, the 250 rear. This is Aaron, he's working on our wiring harness. Hi, Aaron. He does all of our electrical work. He will uh, finish wiring the bike, but there's a sheet metal, and this bike is ready to go. Okay. This is our Vindicator. This is our cruiser style bike. Mm -hmm. This is Robert, he's our, our paint hey, maker. This bike has a Demon 2 wheels. And uh, this is our cruiser style bike. It's got a wider front tire. Real stable, real nice handling bike on the road. This bike is almost complete. We're ready to ship this, this out. So I'll just go to that roof fender and throw a seat on it. It's ready to roll. This is Charles and Sue. These guys are my motor uh, builders, so, assemblers. And uh, this is our, our Warrior model. This is our Epic Wheel. Once these guys are done building the motor stage, we'll hang some sheet metal on This bike will be ready to roll. This is another warrior. This is Liz Lester and Dale. They're going through our QA process. They're going through Odyssey wheels. This bike is totally complete. They go through an extensive checklist, checking all the nuts, bolts, fasteners, oils, paint quality, chrome quality, and we send the bike down there. Thanks for the tour, buddy. You're more than welcome. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Michelle. Oh. Hi, I'm Ted. How are you? Good. What are you working on here? Uh, this is a 113. Well, I heard there was uh, a 113 and a 107. What do you think would be best for me? Well, do you like horsepower? I like horsepower. A 113. That's my, my favorite. Very dependable. And I do comebacks for them. Well, I know that the 113s have a lot of horsepower, but what about the vibrations? Are there any problems with that? Well, if it's installed properly, there is no vibration. Okay, so I'm not going to, like, shake up when I'm uh, riding down the road? Oh, no. Well, a lot of those guys, they, they just throw the motor in and do that. You feel by version because when you get the top end bolted in there, it's not a 440 guy. If you install a 107 without shimming the top end right, it can bite it, too. But then what is the big, biggest difference between the two? Well, the 113 has a four and a half inch stroke. That's how far the piston travels up and down the cylinder. The 107 has a shorter stroke, but basically it's the same engine. It just moves the crank in lower into the flywheel than the engine. Okay. Okay. The 107 is almost a square motor. I see. It's a four inch stroke, four inch bore. Okay. Actually, it's the same cylinder block and the same top end, same heads. Mm -hmm. And the bars are just one thing shorter. About it. Well, then I guess the 113 is uh, for me. Oh, yeah. And uh, I can't wait to see how it feels right down the road. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Thank you. Thanks to Butch and Ted for showing me around. I think I just may have decided on 